Hi guys, Al Smith here. Welcome to another mini lesson on building blocks. This time we're going to talk about singletons and voids. They're all not created equal. One of my idols in bridge idols is Marty Bergen. Uh, Marty is one, probably one of the best bridge theorists that has lived in the past 30, or, uh, 30 to 40 years. One of his really great books is called Points Schmoints. And in this, he describes how to various ways to calculate the true value of your hand. I highly recommend it in all of his books. You know, in its end, he points out that all singletons and voids are not created equal. And the differentiating factor is the number of trumps that you have in your hand uh, if you're the person counting distribution. And why is this important? Well, you know, it gets back, we've had three or four mini lessons on trying to get to the true value of your hand. It's important because you want to have the correct assessment of the value of your hand. Let me give you an example. If you have XX in Trump and your partner has indicated he has six in that suit, you also have a singleton. Well, how much is that singleton worth? We're going to assume that you've gone back and revalued your hand once you've discovered the six to fit. <coughs> so <coughs> how much is the singleton worth? If you're like most bridge players, uh, you either forgot to count it or you counted it as three. Well, neither one of those is actually correct. If the opponents lead Trump twice, what is that singleton now worth? Nothing, because you don't have any Trump left. So uh, we have to figure out an approach to mitigate or to assess the true value of that singleton or void based upon the number of Trump. Let's go ahead and, and look at the following table to get a more accurate count on the, the, the number of distribution points that you should be counting as a result of having distribution after your partner has indicated uh, the, has been a suit. Now, across the top here, we have four plus is the number of Trump in the suit, three, two, one, or zero. Okay, and I'm going to belabor the obvious just to make sure that we all understand it. Okay, if we have a doubleton, our normal value is we're going to count that as one point. If we have four plus, we're still going to count it as one point. Okay, because the likelihood that we're going to be able to trump that suit more than once without potentially having a cross drop is low. Now I want to point out that if you've got two, one, or zero, you don't get to count anything for that for that 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 double two. Okay, because uh, you know the the your partner may have to lead Trump to get the kids off the street, and or the opponents may lead, lead Trump, mitigating any roughing value you have for that double. Two. Okay, now let's look at if it's a singleton. Well, we've narrowly counted as three. If you've got four plus, we're still going to count it as three. However, if you have a six two fit, uh, now you're only going to count that singleton as worth two. And if you only have one trump, you know, you can get this gets a little hairy, you're only going to count it as one. All right. So it's depending in general. The, a singleton is only worth as many Trump as you have, okay, up to a maximum of three. And you can see, obviously, if you don't have any Trump, you're not going to get any distribution uh, points because it's impossible for you to Trump. Now, let's look at a void, okay? What we've, we've defined before is that a void is worth four. Now, I've told you that there's a controversy of whether it's worth four or five. Well, that's because in one situation, it is worth five. It's worth five when you have four plus Trump because the odds go way up that you're going to be able to use your Trump twice in order to, uh, in that, that particular suit, increasing the overall value of the, the, the boy. Now, if you only have two Trumps, we're going to downgrade the four to three. And if you only have one, we're going to downgrade it to a value of two. So you can see that we're adjusting the value of the singleton based upon the number of trumps that we have, and then what we call the expected capability to use that trump to actually establish and take a trick. All right, let's take a look at an example here. OK, 
okay, and make sure that we're correctly counting our distribution points. All right, and this one here, partner has bid one spade. We've got three spades, so we have a magic bid. We have five plus three. So we've got a singleton here, and that singleton we're going to count is worth three. So we're going to go ahead and add that in. Now we're, we've got 13 distribution points. Let's look at example two. Our partner has bid rebid spades, showing he's got six plus. Hey, we've got two spades. Okay, how many points should we add for distribution? Well, we're going to add two. Okay, we add two because of the singleton uh, club, because uh, we're going to limit it to the, we're going to subtract one because we only have two trunks. Now, these aren't big adjustments, but remember, we're dealing with a fairly narrow range in terms of the point assessment of our hand anyways. And the closer that we get that to being accurate, the, the better we're off we're going to be in terms of being able to determine the proper bid to make and the proper level of the contract that we should be at. If you have any questions, send me an email or look uh, at uh, our website and so forth. All right. Thank you very much for attending the lesson. Hope it was helpful.